Good morning and welcome to the second in our series of videos to highlight some special tips and tricks and share with you some of the knowledge and wisdom we've learned in over 30 years of marketing. Today I want to give you a little bit of a preview of some of the topics we're going to be covering over the course of the next couple weeks. I want to talk a little bit about Wizard Academy. Uh, that's my school. That's where I've done all my postgraduate work and that's where I continue to get um, new information from. Uh, Wizard Academy is attended by what I consider to be the best thought leaders in America. Um, their slogan is discovering the science in every art. And I believe customer development is a part science and part art. Same thing with sales and sales training. So we're going to talk a little bit about Wizard Academy today. Um, upcoming, I want to talk about design and marketing and how designing your marketing strategy can absolutely have a positive impact on the results you're working towards. I want to talk about the evolution of online. I want to talk about online websites, social media, digi digital marketing. Um, also known as content marketing and uh, I just come off a year's experience with HubSpot and I'll share that with you. Um, why traditional media is still viable and still in fact a primary advertising source for your company if you're interested in expanding your brand, expanding your customer base. Um, the three things that really drive uh, traditional media are reach, frequency and consistency. Uh, three things that you can control about your brand even though your brand is really about what people think you can still lay the platform down for how you want people to think about your company your products your people your services um, we're going to talk a lot about radio and one of the tricks that I can share with you that works very well for a small business on a small budget is dominating a day part I think you'll enjoy that um, I want to talk about newspaper and why it's dying. Everybody kind of knows that the world is going online. But I, I can share with you a little bit about how newspaper works and how you can make newspaper work for your company, specifically if you're a retailer, but also if you're interested in branding. Um, I want to talk about online misinformation. And I want to talk about pre-roll advertising. When you click a video, it's the ad that plays prior. And I want to talk about uh, fake ads, which are heavy in the news right now with all the misinformation uh, around the election and around uh, world events. And I want to talk about ad blockers. We're going to talk about that so you can understand that while digital may have some positive effects, uh, you have to counter the fact that ad blockers are taking out about 48% of the ads today. Um, I want to talk about why video is difficult. Here I am, um, day two of a new series, and it's taken me a long time to get here. And I can share with you a little bit about my experience of getting more involved in video, from purchasing a camera, to understanding editing, to understanding lighting. And video is a very specific art form and a very specific science. I'm not a videographer, but I work with videographers, and I've had a chance to learn from some of the best. I'll share with you what my experiences are on that. Um, why lighting is difficult? Um, in my home office here, um, I'm just using natural light from my office. I don't have any special equipment right now, um, but I'll explain why lighting is important and uh, how you can have a video with good lighting uh, affordably. Um, I want to talk about low-cost video versus high-cost video. There's a big difference there. This is low-cost video. I'm shooting this in my home office. I'm not going to a studio. I'm not renting a bunch of equipment. I don't have an audio technician. Um, I'm just doing this on my own. This is the where this is where most small business owners should be to begin with. You should develop your presence online, and it is affordable. And this is an example of it. 
I want to talk about why editing is the art form and why editing is the foundation of video. And I want to talk about why it's expensive. I've worked with some great editors and the process is um, long and challenging and requires the understanding of the art of cinematography and uh, it's something that I could share with you that'll help you better understand why some videos cost more than others. Um, thank you for taking a minute to uh, stay with me during this preview of topics and new videos to come and uh, we'll continue to post more material and uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today.